As streaming services get more expensive, everyone is looking for ways to spend less on TV each month. And there's nothing cheaper than free. Fast services are growing faster than any other streaming segment, all puns intended. Yeah, and since it's been quite a while since we reviewed our favorite free streaming services, we thought it was a good time to tell you about some of the best ones out there. If you're looking for easy ways to cut your TV expenses, try a few of these 13 best free streaming apps. We'll cover each of these free streaming services at a very high level, saying what each is best for and what to watch out for, if anything, with them. Let's start with Tubi. Tubi is one of the best free streaming services for Fox fans. Owned by Fox, it has more than 40,000 movies and TV shows from more than 400 partners. A top Netflix alternative, it also has a surprising number of horror flicks. Yeah, but all that content means that there are also a lot of bad titles on there. People complain about there being a lot of crappy options to have to wade through to find something good to watch. Also, as is true with all of these free legal streaming services, there are ads. Yeah, and sometimes lots of them, but that's what's making all this content free. Tubi also has hundreds of channels of live TV, a dedicated kids experience, and the ability to create a watch list with saved titles when you create a free account. Now let's look at a second way to stream TV online for free, Pluto TV. Similar to Tubi, Pluto TV is one of the most popular free streaming apps people use to save money on streaming after they cut the cord on cable. It's owned by Paramount, which means you'll get a lot of Paramount movies and CBS TV content. In fact, it has over 200 channels of free live TV airing everything from news and sports to entertainment and channels dedicated to specific shows, like one of our favorite ones, Amazing Race. It also offers MTV reality series content and TV land shows. However, something to watch out for with Pluto is dated content, and this is true of other free streaming apps as well. But many of the shows are from previous seasons, not current ones. And channels like NFL Network, Fox Sports, and CNN have curated streams of content that is meant to feel like live TV, not live streams of their cable channels. If you want true live TV and current seasons of shows, you're going to have to pay for them. Thankfully, there are good budget options out there. You can watch our video on some of the best make your own bundles for under $20 to learn more about that. The kids content isn't as impressive as what Tubi offers, but if you create a free account, you can standardize your experience across devices and create a watch list. Watch our review video comparing the two free services to see which one is best for you. Now let's look at a third option, the Roku channel. You don't need a Roku streaming device to watch the Roku channel. You can watch online or by adding it as a channel on a Roku TV or streaming device. That said, it has more than 350 channels of live TV, as well as movies and on-demand content. It also has paid and premium content intermingled. When you click on that, you will be prompted to sign up for a subscription to watch it. That is a bit annoying and things leave off the channel frequently. Still, by creating a free account, you can create a watch list to make it a little easier to find what you want to watch. It also has original content and news from stations like Reuters and Weather Nation. Speaking of news, if you're looking for a good way to watch local channels without cable through a streaming service that incorporates what you can watch free with an over-the-air antenna, Sling Freestream is your best bet and our fourth option. As we show in our review video, you don't need a paid account to watch your locals through Sling Freestream. When you connect an Air TV device to your Sling Free account, you can watch your locals from anywhere, right through the Sling app. You can also watch on-demand content and many free live TV channels. When you connect an external hard drive, you can even record content from your local networks, all right within the user-friendly Sling interface. One thing to watch out for, though, with Sling Freestream is the rentals. Just realize you'll pay for those. But even if you don't connect an antenna for your locals, there's a lot to like about Freestream, and it's all free. Just realize you won't get access to any paid Sling networks like ESPN, HGTV, or others. Yeah, now let's move on to our next free service, Amazon's Freevee. When Amazon acquired IMDb TV, it rebranded it as Freevee, and it started putting money towards original content. One of its shows, Jury Duty, has been a hit. Now, it's not Prime Video, and it has its own app, though you can access it through Prime Video as a Prime Video channel. If you're looking for on-demand movie content for free, this is a good option. And if you have a Fire TV device, Freevee comes preloaded. However, the interface is clunky and not as easy to use as the others mentioned so far, so keep an eye out for that. Moving on to a sixth option, if you like comedy, check out the free app Crackle. 
That's what it's known for, but as one of the oldest free streaming sites, it has a lot more than comedy. Yeah, there are originals, classic movies, and TV shows. However, one area it really lags behind the competition is its volume of titles. There aren't anywhere near as many TV shows, and there's no live TV content. Still, you can create a watch list when you create a free account, and its content filtering options make it pretty easy to find something to watch. Our next option is totally different in that it focuses on live TV. DistroTV is a newer service and launched in 2019 as a competitor to Pluto. It offers about 250 channels of live TV and curated content. The channels are more random than Pluto, though, and include local news for obscure locations across the United States. It does have curated content from channels like Dove TV, People TV, and the ACC Network. But where it shines is its international content, and that's truly what it's best for. It carries shows from Bollywood, Latin America, Southeast Asia, and lots of European news. Watch our review of Distro TV to learn more about it and see if it has the free international content you're looking for. Our next option, Samsung TV Plus, is best for streamers with Samsung Smart TVs. If you're looking for loads of live TV content and a cable-like grid guide built right into your TV, this option is great for you. With more than 500 channels, you won't run out of things to watch. Some of the brands on Samsung TV Plus include NBC News Now, AMC, Yahoo Finance, Game Show Central, and The Walking Dead Universe. The downside is that this service is only available on Samsung TVs made after 2016. Learn more about Samsung TV Plus in our review of the app. Our next option is Hoopla Digital. If you use your local library a lot, this is a good free streaming service for you. You'll need a library card to use it, but once you do, you can stream movies and TV shows free for 72 hours at a time. You'll find past seasons of popular shows, movies, PBS Kids content, audiobooks, music, and more. The downside is that you are limited to what your local library carries, and the selection can be fairly eclectic. Another free option we're checking out is Zumo. This competitor to Tubi and Pluto TV is often overlooked. While it doesn't have as much content as those two, it does have a slick interface and offers both live channels and on-demand shows and movies. Yeah, it's best for news and sports, and it has channels like ABC News Live, Bloomberg TV, Pac-12 Insider, and Fox Sports. One downside is that you cannot create an account, while you can favorite channels that cannot be standardized across devices. Our next option, Vudu, requires a free account to watch. You may know Vudu for its connection to movies through Fandango that you can rent or buy online, but it has a pretty impressive free movie selection. Yeah, Vudu has nearly 12,000 movies to watch free in a variety of genres. Many of them are older or more obscure, though, and everything has ads in it. Some things to watch out for with Vudu are the pay items scattered throughout, and it only has about 700 TV shows currently. And the Watch Peacock option near the top menu isn't free. It takes you to Peacock to get you to sign up for the service. Our next option, Canopy, is similar to Hoopla in that it also requires a library card from a participating library or university. What's available depends on your library. Ours participates and allows up to 10 free movies each month. You generally have about 72 hours to watch your item. There's a kids section with unlimited views. Looking through the content, it skews towards documentaries, history, BBC content, great courses, and British films. Ours does have some Warner Brothers and MGM content, but it's fairly random and tends to be older. However, if a show you like is on there, everything is ad-free, so you could use it to watch your content free and without ads. Our last option is something you know very well, but might not realize it has free movies and episodes of TV shows, and that's none other than YouTube. YouTube is by far the best free streaming app for original content. Ask our kids and they'll tell you it's their go-to for TV. It's not a paid service they want, but rather it's YouTube, and lots of people feel that way. Yeah, more and more content is going up on YouTube, and if they launch their own version of a fast service, you can bet it will be popular as they have such a wide reach and popular platform already. More sports leagues are putting their content on YouTube as our news channels. ABC News and NBC News keep continual live streams of their content on the app. The downside is that you will have to wade through a lot of irrelevant hits and content that doesn't quite fit what you're looking for to get to what you do want. Still, before you sign up for a paid service, spend an hour on YouTube browsing for what you watch to see if you can find it for free there. Definitely. As a streaming space matures, it's becoming more important than ever to look for ways to keep your costs down, and using free streaming services are a great way to do that. 
Let us know what your favorite free streaming app is in the comments below. And if you haven't already, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you can get all our latest news and reviews when they drop. And don't forget to tune in to our live streams on Fridays at noon central. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next video.